This monitor right here is so good that spending more on a monitor may actually be wasted money. Seriously, unless you want an OLED, this thing has it all. I think it's peak IPS technology and it's literally good for everyone. Now, usually wherever someone is trying to sell you something and it's gonna tell you that it's good for everyone, it's never a good idea. But this time, this thing actually is pretty much universal. How's that? Well, because it's a dual mode monitor. So it lets you switch between 1080p 320 Hz and 4K 160 Hz. It's the LC Power LC M27 UFD and it comes in at just 300 bucks. Yes. Now you are not gonna get fancy aesthetic, not even fancy packaging, and definitely not a lot of accessories or some really cool stand with it. But this thing, you're able to get it out of the packaging and assembled in literally 60 seconds. And it comes with the included power adapter and monitor cables to connect to your computer as always with the latest standard of DisplayPort and HDMI. What it lacks in flashiness though, it makes up for in features. So out of the box, this thing runs at 4K and it is calibrated out of the factory. The HDMIs are 2.1 and the DisplayPort is 1.4. It also has integrated speakers, something which a lot of brands nowadays are getting rid of uh, to save cost, which I can understand, but I think they come in handy especially even if you're not using them all the time. Every now and then, they're gonna come in handy. Trust me, I have a monitor with no speakers and I regret it every day. Now, this thing is just 27 inch, which means the pixel density is very, very high for 4K. Usually people get 4K displays at 32 inches, but 32 inch is quite large. And uh, I honestly came into this thinking, huh, the 4K mode is probably gonna be a little bit too dense pixel wise, but since you can switch it to full HD in literally two seconds via the HUD, then it's worth it. Because the thing is, how I would use this monitor is if I were playing single player titles, I would play 4K of course, but I would also use it daily uh, in 4K for browsing. It's great for multitasking. And I even tried some editing, photo editing and video editing on this. And the color accuracy is great. And the resolution itself is great because again, 4K on such a small screen, which is not small as you can see, makes for some insane clarity. However, as soon as you need to actually see things bigger and play competitively, you can then switch it to Full HD, lowering how heavy this is on your computer because even if you have a high-end PC, like the one I have here today with a 9070 XT overclocked and a 9800 X3D overclocked with some overclocked RAM, 4K is very hard to max out. So 160 Hz is tricky to do. And more importantly, if you're playing with any level of competitiveness, but even if you're just playing for fun, going from 160 Hz to 320 Hz, literally doubling how fast you see stuff is a big jump. And uh, I actually tried for a long time, both versions of what this monitor allows you to do. And the 1080p version is just so much better. Yes, the image doesn't look the best, but I actually have a very expensive OLED from LG, a uh, 21 by nine monitor which I use daily. And the pixel scaling there truly is bad, but here it's amazing. So 1080p actually looks very good. Like it looks like a native 1080p panel, which I wasn't expecting because most kind of emulations are done very bad. Now in the actual HUD, which by the way is packed full of features, I'm gonna just scroll them through you because there are too many to list. You can control the adaptive sync, you can, Okay, of course, change your color, but you can do like a lot of more advanced stuff. It even has picture in picture, uh, compatible for Windows 11 strictly. It's very, very well made software behind this monitor, which I wasn't expecting since it is a very good panel and it has dual mode, it's so cheap, but the level of software and research that's behind this panel is, is the reason why I recommend it so much. After playing on it for so long, 1080p just feels way too good. It's basically native. It's a better emulation than LG is currently doing on their OLED. And I go as far as to say that it's even better emulation than what Asus is doing on some of their monitors. The only one that's better is the 32 inch Asus monitor. Okay, but that's crazy, like crazy expensive. And the reason this is so good is because 4K has exactly a four to one ratio to uh, Full HD and you don't have to split pixels. I was trying to emulate on a 21 by nine monitor on a 3440 by 1440p and I was trying to emulate it to 27 inch to be more competitive and that was not working fine. So if one pixel doesn't correspond to an actual finite number of pixels, in the high resolutions, doing the scaling in reverse will always need some kind of emulation 
and emulation is what's really bad for you. Now, viewing angles are also very good for an IPS, and in general, the panel is amazing. I am just sorry that my quality of video capture isn't good enough to really portray it to you guys. So I will try to go around a little bit and show it to you guys, hoping it looks good enough. The only thing I think we need to discuss if you want to buy something like this is making sure you have the right PC for it because this is not easy to run. So that's the only issue uh, with a monitor like this. So something I would like to add is that nowadays the monitor market has come down so much. I don't know if you guys noticed, you probably haven't if you don't follow the monitor market, but basically everything is so cheap, right? And uh, really a product like this actually makes sense in the current market, meaning now at 300 bucks, you can get a high-end product, which is something you used to be able to do back in the day, like in 2019, something like that. And then everything just skyrocketed and it, it was tough to get a good monitor for a while. And with this LC Power product, we are finally back into actually having something that's affordable on the high end and that's actually good. So I think if they make it white, this is probably my only advice to LC Power, if they make it white, it's probably going to appeal to a lot more people because nowadays people want white monitors for some reasons. They can probably sell tons. But if you guys don't mind a uh, black monitor, I think this is just so good. You should definitely get it. But again, one thing you should note is how heavy 4K 160Hz is and also how heavy 1080p 320Hz is and how the requirements for each are slightly different. Because to push such high frames at 1080p consistently, so to have good 1% lows, you're going to probably need either a very high-end Intel CPU with fast RAM, like a Core Ultra 7, Core Ultra 9, or an i9-14900K or 14700K with very good RAM. That's what I talk about on the channel usually. So if you're new to this channel, you just see me for the monitor. I apologize, but I'm a PC reviewer mostly. Whereas to push the 4K, you need a very good GPU. Now, of course, if you have something like this, so Ryzen 7 9800X 3D with a 9070XT, you can do both. So this is a good PC to test this with. But if you are lacking in any department, maybe you have a very good CPU, like a 9800X 3D, but you have just, just a 5070, RTX 5070, then 4K may be a little tough for you. And uh, in, in reverse, if you maybe have a 5080, but you have, for example, a 9700X Ryzen uh, with no good RAM, it's going to be hard to max out the 300 Hertz. So um, if you do want to really max out a high-end monitor, you're going to have to get a proper PC, but it can also be a good reason to upgrade. And if you're an enthusiast like me, that's actually good news. So that's the only thing which should keep you from buying something like this is not having a PC that's good enough. Uh, but even if you don't, and you want to just play 1080p competitive, I can see the case where someone is playing 1080p competitively and is just working on the 4K monitor and using it for daily usage, watching films and stuff. So with that said, it's not usual on this channel that I make a fully positive review. I usually critique everyone and it's why no brands want to work with me pretty much. Uh, but this thing is great. I think you guys should buy it. I'm not sure about how good the availability is though uh, outside of Europe, uh, but if you're in Europe, this is just hands down the best buy and uh, it has my full recommendation and I will be running it from now on. It's that good. With that said, if you guys have another monitor which you think is better than this, drop a comment down below and I'll buy it and try it out. And uh, if not, drop a like, subscribe and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.